What is up guys? Welcome back to another Arena of Valor Esports review and today we are going to be taking a look at the Buriram United Esports going up against Team Elbow. And the team comps are kind of standard here. We have some um, interesting picks like the Kricknack in the jungle. We, it is a standard pick but we, don't, we, didn't, we didn't really see him that often this tournament so far. We see a lot of marksman junglers like Alandor coming out uh, probably with the highest pick rate in the jungle so far. Uh, then we have a pain in the mid lane, which again isn't seen too often as a mid laner. We have a very standard Kefani um, marksman on the side of Buriram. We have that Lumber support and that Florentino in that top lane for Buriram. Now we have for Team Elbow, we have a Zill jungle, which again is kind of a rare pick here. Uh, we have Raz in the mid lane, which is a very nice combo with Zill, by the way. You throw that fireball, you reduce that magic resistance, and at that point, Zill jumps in onto that target and just completely one-shots them. We have a Chi in the Slayer lane, which is always fun to see. A uh, Hayate and Krizix in that bottom lane. And that Krizix hayate combo, you know, in that Chi CC, that can be very huge. Meanwhile, First Blood was taken by Buriram. Team Elvo already on the back foot here, lose their Chi in that top lane. We'll see if they can uh, return some fire here. They get, they secure that little um, bird there in that bottom lane. So that is very nice uh, for a Hayate. And yeah, now this game was probably one of the best efforts, um, one of the best games Team Elbow provided uh, this tournament. Uh, of course, Buriram United Esports is one of the tournament favorites, so this is not and this is not at all an easy team to beat. Okay, so we'll see if Team Elbow will be able to here. Uh, as I said, they have that Zill, and he can do a ton of damage here. Goes in with his ultimate, gets a kill onto that Kricknack. Uh, meanwhile, Chi ends up dropping the Krizix drops as well, and Krizix actually very interesting with that uh, Devil's Awakening enchantment. We have not seen that so far in this tournament, I think. I think every Krizix so far went for that uh, Endless Cycle, of course. So yeah, we'll see what comes out of that. Uh, all in all, Team Elbow trading, I think, evenly there. Um, it gets two for two. So very well played. Uh, I think the Lumber ended up dying as well. Kefani ends up dropping as I'm saying that. So they are able to equalize the kills and more than equalize the gold. They are 100, 200 gold ahead of a Buriram right now. However, of course, that is such a minuscule value that it doesn't really matter. What will matter though is this dragon, okay? This will push the gold lead to around 800, which will be very juicy for Team Elbow right now. Um, never mind, the gold lead is dead even, but of course they have waves to clear, so it should still... Ooh, they even go for a cheeky little red buff in wait. They know that Kricknag is on the other side of the map. Ooh, huge Painold is able to clean up that Zill. That red buff have made, ended up being way too greedy. Krizix uses his Arctic Orb as well. And now we have Buriram all of a sudden with an 800 gold lead. Uh, they're in a very good spot right now. Ooh, that Raz is doing a good job poking that Pain. Pain has to back out a little bit here. And now that Kefani is just pounding away on this tower. Nothing, it, uh, nothing that tower can do against the Kefani. Uh, just deals way too much damage. And that Florentino gets completely caught, silenced by the Zill ult. Ooh, meanwhile, there is a fight going on, though. Good Arctic Orb by Raz. Is a Ooh, flicker away. Is he still gonna die, though? I think he's still gonna die, yeah. Too much damage coming in from Pain, Kefani, and Crick Knight. Just uh, so much burst. Uh, Zill gets the enemy blue buff, though, so they're fine. And they get that push on that top lane. However, of course, still the uh, protection, the early game tower protection still there so she th that she cannot do uh, enough damage there and now we can see 4-1 zil and 303 pain and this is exactly what the title of this video will probably be it is the battle of a mage assassins once again it seems like in the apl right now um or on this current aov patch it seems like the mage assassins hold a lot of power Pain, Kira, even Zill, Raz, you know, they are very strong heroes. Even Tool and Jungle, I would describe him as a mage assassin as well. Um, and yeah, while I'm saying that though, that um, Stone Boy, what is, what's his name? Um, Lumber, of course, gets caught, is able to S2 flicker away. 
very nice clean mechanics there super fast super long distance to dash with those two and yeah meanwhile hayate gets caught i don't think he gets away i don't think i would use uh, arctic orb there that was just wasted and now that zil is very deep however that kefani is a little bit deeper okay she's in deep trouble gets picked up pain just completed his apocalypse apocalypse excuse me and that will deal that will start dealing a ton of damage Ooh, clavis Santi as well another kill for pain this seems to be slipping away from team elbows um hands right now this game but right as i'm saying that she is able oh she just auto aims the second part of the ult meanwhile just before that pain uses his arctic orb so he is able to get away with that because she ends up using it on a minion and yeah uh very pretty close game honestly 1k gold advantage for buriram but team elbow is holding up very strong here against again one of the tournament favorites guys okay this is nothing to scoff at uh, usually, you would expect from this game to be a complete stop, um, but it is not so far. So we'll see if this Zil can keep up his aggression here. Five and one, uh, playing very well. Five and zero on the side of Pain, though. Okay, so uh, that is even better a little bit. And he has that Apocalypse first item, of course. B what else? Nothing else you would expect from Pain. I want to see if Pain's go Zweihander here. I don't think so, but I like Zweihander on Pain lately. I'll make a video about that. Anyway, while I'm saying that, uh, that Zill gets picked up, loses his kill streak. Ah, the Raz is able to pick up that pain in return. He loses his kill streak as well. Double kill for Raz. So that is a huge swing. You can see the gold almost equalized with that because of that huge five kill uh, streak going uh, down on that pain, right? That is a huge amount of gold, probably like four or five hundred, maybe six. I think five hundred probably. And yeah, that is definitely huge for this Raz's pocket. Look at this Zill damage. Almost able to pick up this Kricknack, but not quite. He didn't have his S1 uh, quite ready there. Very unfortunate. Very lucky for Kricknack, honestly. He properly got caught there. And yeah, this um, Raz is getting caught right now, but I think he can just easily dash away. Yep. You can slow the Raz, but you cannot diminish his uh, dash range. Okay, on his passive, so she he can just scoot through that um, Lumber ult. And I would even say um, Team Elvo is in a really good spot right now because they have the wave control, okay? They have the control over this game right now. And remember, I think they have a really juicy combo, okay? They have a Krizix pulling everyone together. Um, AoE Raz ult, AoE Hayate ult, AoE Chi ult into that. That is huge, guys, okay? And the Chi ult... Doesn't even need the Krizix ult. She can also set up the Krizix, uh, not the Krizix ult, the Krizix pull. Oh my god, this Krizix is going deep. Oh, this pain is doing way too much damage. Picks up the Hayate. Is able to, no, is not able to get away, I think. Chi ult completely missing, but it does not matter. They pick up that return the kill. Very well played by Raz. Pushing in the pain into his team. And now it is, I mean, you know that Krizix is dead. So it was still a two for one trade. So Buriram won that team fight, but... Oh, this Chi. No, she's able to flicker away. However, that flicker not being available is huge for our next team fight. Two minute cooldown on that. So that is definitely a big issue for Team Elbow. If that Chi, however, after those two minutes, can find a nice S1 flicker onto the Kefani, push her and maybe maybe the Kricknack, maybe the Florentino into a wall, I think it's a game over. I, I honestly think that is a one team fight for Team Elbow. You can never underestimate Chi in that late game so much damage so much cc if she can find that ult, of course it's not gonna be easy uh Kefani is kind of a stationary target so is definitely one of the easier marksmen to hit um while i'm saying that though this oh my god pain going so deep hayate gets away ults oh just dies barely right there to that pain that is so unfortunate he has that Purify still up for the next team fight though, so that's not bad. But look at this, man. Kefani is so strong. <laughs> Kefani is so ridiculously strong right now. Hayate can't keep up with that late game of Kefani, okay? Uh, Hayate really relies on a very, very nice ult, three to four people. And then he can dish out the damage Kefani can in a normal team fight whenever she just shoots. She just shoots. She's just there and shoots the enemies. And um, yeah, that is... Uh, that is <laughs> As much damage as a perfect Hayate ult, pretty much. That's just the strength of Kefani right now. 
this chi is completely called out no flicker available it, this that means that's a very easy pickup and now this game again is the elbow is losing um the grasp of this game right now staff of Nul coming out on zildo he is just really far behind that crick knack though that crick knack is about to complete his fenrir's like 1.5k gold left um, or like 1k gold left as soon as he gets that yeah like 1 1 1.1k gold left right now as soon as he gets that that is going to be a huge swing again because at that point his ult just bursts three people in a team fight for half their health which is which might be too much to deal with for elbow right now um ooh that raz gets completely called out flicker gone from raz he's able to get away well played however not flicker no flicker available is just going to make this Kefani very safe for the next team fight. They really need two flickers here. Raz and Chi flicker to just both flicker onto that Kefani. And at that point, we probably have a team fight victory for Team Elbow. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Hayate has his Frost Cape. He is building onto his uh, Slicks thing next. So we might see another swing, but right as I'm saying that, Raz gets completely one shot by that Crick Knight. And now, Definitely Buriram is winning this game. Very action-packed game. Almost 30 kills in 10 minutes, in 11 minutes. That is pretty nice. And yeah, this um, Florentino just completed his uh, Shield of the Lost. So he's going to slow down that Chi attack speed, that Hayate attack speed, which of course hurts him a lot. And also that Zill attack speed, which can scuff his uh, reset. You know, you jump in and you think you can... Do a quick auto attack, but all of a sudden it's slow. Ooh, huge shield. See, that's what I'm talking about. S1 into the enemies, but it is not enough. The game is, they're so far behind already. Oh my god, this this Raz. I see what he was trying to do, but he just got completely one-shot. After his endless cycle was used, the Hayate is back again. A huge shield with that S1 flicker now is able. Man, this Chi. The last, she didn't do much the whole game. But now the last minute was just huge, but I think they can still end. Oh, that is a disaster, but a very, very nice try by Team Elbow in the end there. I'm not sure if they can end. This Krizix is spawning. Yeah, they can't end. There's no way they can end, but they get this tower. And um, if they try to end, they might lose the game. Yeah, they, they, they know they have to back out. They back out instantly. And yeah, um, absolutely crazy team fights there coming in by Chi. She has that Fenrir completed as well. But again, no flicker for the next team fight. Unless they can stall it for 70, 80 seconds, something like that is remaining, judging by that timer there on the screen. So yeah, hey, it, it is gonna be really difficult for oh my goodness, that is so unlucky. <laughs> that pain is able to backboard right in time before that damage hits, and that is so unlucky, guys. That, that was literally a millisecond. That could have turned around the game. I'm not gonna lie. So team elbow is performing really well in this group stage game against uh, Buriram because <laughs> let me tell you guys that these are some very slim margins the last two team fights as well the enemies were so low HP they could have they would have almost uh, won that team fight we see another um, frost guard coming out by pain very standard item on pain right now this patch um, we're seeing it a lot so I'll probably try it out myself and yeah we'll see how this goes this is still everybody's game okay definitely Buriram is in an advantage with two inhibitors down they just picked up the slayer they will pick up this dragon they might wait a minute for the enrage the abyssal dragon and at that point it is looking very very badly for team elbow however they still have that chi uh, the flicker is gonna be ready right now and yeah, they have a flicker on, they have all their sk skills up. Purify on Hayate, his ult can't get cancelled. All of that good stuff, guys. Flicker on Raz. This is some, this is a very, this can be a very explosive team fight for Team Elbow. So I believe, guys, okay? I believe. I believe in this Chi. I hope he can get that S1 flicker again. Um, get that ult onto three people. He even got it on that base wall, which is so slim, right? So. I think he can do some great things here if he can get it onto a lane wall, which is a little bit easier to hit the enemies into. Ooh, this still has to jump out. Ooh, that Krizix is engaging. Very well played. Huge, huge team fight combo coming in from Team Elbow, and they're winning so far. But the pain just entered the team fight. 
I'm not sure if they can fight that back. They can because Hayate is still alive. I I'm telling you guys, I believed. I, ha I have no idea what happens, okay? I didn't check this out uh, this far into the game. I just saw, ooh, Team Elbow is doing well uh, against Buriram with some uh, pain and uh, Zil being both fed action going on. We can use that as a good video. But man, <laughs> did we expect something like that? Definitely not. 40 kills, more than 40 kills, 42 kills, quick maths, in 15, 16 minutes. Come on, guys, that is a crazy game. That is so nice to watch. And I know a lot of you guys are fans of um, Team Elbow, so yeah, definitely had to cover this one. By the way, guys, at this point, I want to mention, okay, because there's not much action going on. 53% of you are not subscribed. You guys are watching my videos every day and you're not subscribed, man. It's free. You just press the button once. It doesn't even change anything because YouTube is um, YouTube is kind of weird where they recommend, you know, it's only about recommendations nowadays. So the subscription doesn't change anything for you, but it makes me makes my number go up. OK, and if my number goes up, I get 50K and then I do a special, which is letting you choose again some stupid build for me to try out like Marksman Grack or something. And then I will suffer for 10 hours again until I get a good video. So that's fun for you guys, you know? So, hey, leave that subscription. Anyway, uh, nothing much going on right now. Team Elvo, of course, got that enraged abyssal dragon there, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, we'll see uh, how this next team fight turns out. Ooh, right as I'm saying that, though, she gets caught inside her base, goes back in. Oh man, they need to clear that wave. Are they just gonna lose like that? She got. The um, Kefani kill, and they're again winning this team fight, man. They're completely winning these team fights now. Buriram tried to go for a cheeky backdoor, man. I want to see if they can win this, guys, because they can get this. The, yeah, the Nexus, the core is completely healthy. Three people dead on Buriram's side. They can definitely get this Slayer. Pain has to ult away. Oh no, guys. If this Zill gets him. Oh, that's so sad. Again, super. Like, Zill almost had enough range to jump in there. But, guys, they get this tower. They get this next tower. There don't seem to be any endless cycles. 10 seconds remaining on the enemy still. Three people dead. They can try to end. Oh my god, that's. Ah, Krizix. No, he uses. He wastes the flicker. <gasps> that pain is dead. Can they end? Oh my goodness, guys. That would be crazy. They are able to... Oh no, that now the Kefani is alive. And at that point, it's really difficult to win this team fight. Yeah, they have to back out. This is neck and neck action going on, guys. 50 kills approaching here, okay? In 20 minutes. Guys, come on. That is crazy. That is such an action-packed pro game. Um, I probably won't even do it in the sense of the mage assassins against each other. I will probably just call this something like... I don't know, man, five kills per minute or something stupid like that. How many kills is it per minute? It's like three kills per minute almost, okay? It probably was three kills per minute at some point. Um, 45 kills almost at 15 minutes. Come on, guys, we can do three kills per minute. Hey, listen, boys, you don't even care. Three kills per minute in that thumbnail. That is going to be a juicy clickbait, boys. You already know. That's why you clicked. But I didn't promise too much, I hope. This is absolutely crazy. We have... Um, those complete builds coming through, of course. So the gold being this even doesn't even matter. But it's still cool to point out that the gold is so, so even. The game, the map state is pretty even too. And again, you know, Buriram has those crazy late game heroes. Payne, um, Kefani, Florentino, right? Meanwhile, Elvo doesn't really have too crazy. Like Zill, if you think of Zill, he's good late game. But it's not like something insane, you know? Every assassin can one-shot somebody like him. Chi, you think of her as a nice teamfight strength, but you don't think of her as like the supreme late-game hero, right? Meanwhile, Florentino has true damage and stuff, you know? So Raz, again, is like a more of an early-game hero. Hayate is a very strong late-game hero, but again, you don't think of him as a Caffany or Laviel, right? However, they just have that juicy teamfight combo. They have these synergies. They don't have the broken heroes, but they have the synergistic team cop here, okay? And that is what's giving them the edge here. So very nice draft coming in by Team Elbow, but they cannot make a single mistake here, okay? Because if those flickers are wasted like that Krizix flicker before, 
that is really difficult to win that team fight, okay? But they have everything available. They have to clear those waves. They're just abandoning. They're just abandoning this uh, Abyssal Dragon. Very unfortunate. This Caffany will have a revival thing now. Ooh, the Pain is just able to get away. Pain is so broken, guys. He just S1s, doesn't care about any CC, and it just runs away. But uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. This might throw the game. Krizix, uh, Kricknack took the revival thing from Caffany. Come on, buddy. Are you trolling? I mean, I know it's cool. He can like dive deep now, but he doesn't have to dive deep. The enemies will dive them deep. So he can just stick around his Kefani, and when someone dives on her, he just one-shots the person trying to one-shot her. And she has a revival, like, I don't know, man, that would have been impossible to deal with. She has that Blade of Eternity, but she could have had two revivals, you know? I don't know, man, I would have given it definitely to Kefani here. And yeah, we might see this uh, be a huge mistake and lose them the game. Still 48 kills, uh, 58 kills, actually in 20 minutes almost 60 kills in 20 minutes come on guys that's that's an easy three minutes per, uh, per minute at uh, three kills per minute and yeah that is absolutely crazy guys no it's it's actually what, what am i calculating man it's 50 guys i don't know quick maths is not with us okay i guess man's hot <laughs> i guess man's hot anyway um we have that team fight breaking out kefany is alive and with Kefani alive, no, she actually dropped, never mind, my bad, I thought she ran away, but oh my god, that Kricknack though, he has double revive, yeah, that pain, that was honestly pain hard carrying that team fight, man, he one shot two people with his ult there, he hit his ult beautifully and just completely ended that team fight, ended team Elvo's chances of winning this game, Kefani jumping in and one shot. Never mind. Never mind. No, never mind. <laughs> Guys, this is such a huge back and forth, even during the team fights. But I think that is the nail on the coffin. Yeah, that is GG, definitely. Yeah, very well played by both teams here, okay? That was an absolutely crazy game. Three kills per minute. I cannot stress this enough. Man, what can I say? That was a very fun to watch. Huge team fights coming in by Chi uh, and that Krizix combo, of course. As I said, we want to see the MVP. It's probably going to be that Kefani. Let's see here. I don't want to. Yeah, it's it's. They're gonna. I, I'll just skip like this. There we go. It's really hard to find uh, the right frame at a 12-hour live stream. Oh, never mind. It's Nunu, of course. Yeah. Uh, he, he went 15 and 5, guys. That is absolutely crazy. That was one of the best pain gameplays this tournament as well. Let's see. How many um, how much damage did they deal? 37%. Come on, man. That is definitely the best pain we have seen this tournament. That is insane. Out damaging his Kefani. Anyway, guys. Hope you did enjoy this. Um, if you did, leave a like, subscribe. And I will see you guys the next time. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.